Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis, Port Aransas, Texas. What do we got? 86 degrees at 11 a.m. It's going to go up to about 90. Partly cloudy right now, full sun in a few hours. Up at the channel, watching the ships come through, looking for dolphins, sea turtles, keeping an eye on the uh, fishermen. Beautiful, gorgeous day on Mustang Island so far. Hey, Natalie, Serge, Isabella, Ling Ling the Cat, and Cookie the Chewini. <laughs> Roll my intro. We have the wind out of the north, 12 miles an hour. Just chatting with people as they fish, petted a few dogs. Just enjoying the view of the water, actually. Everyone's got their own pro fishing tips. You can see a large group of people up there. Some people go all the way out to the end and fish. It's supposed to be a really good spot if you're coming to town. Try it out. Or if you're a local, let me know if you've had any luck here. I do enjoy watching people fish. This guy's cast netting. And he's got a snag. And he's keeping an eye on everyone else. <laughs> It's heating up a little bit, but uh, that's okay. It's uh, summertime in South Texas. I like to spend some time outside, and every hour and a half, two hours, I'll uh, hop in the truck and put the air on and find something to do. That's an interesting driving maneuver. Are we in England now, guys? <laughs> well, I might as well hit you up with the horrible joke of the day, right? How do you make everyone in church start cursing you yell bingo <laughs> uh, I'm sorry the stupider they are the more funny I find them the sand is uh, like powder today they got a lot of heavy machinery out here working on the beach getting things taken care of a lot of construction equipment still working on the jetty. Shaping up to be absolutely gorgeous out. Just wanted to show you this right along the dunes here. Beautiful flowers have come up. Blooms. Something pretty right here on the opposite side of the beach that you might even notice if you come here. This tells you the uh, surf conditions. I highly recommend you pay attention to these signs. It is a rectangle yellow flag. And if you look down, yellow flag, rectangle, calm to moderate water. Does not assure safe water. So that's good. Not a big uh, riptide type situation, but uh, you still got to be real careful. Day use only. So no overnight camping in this spot. Bunch of chairs and umbrellas set up. Maybe we'll find out if they're just for the one uh, hotel or condos or whatever it is. Or if anyone can rent these, maybe we'll... Uh, find someone up here so I spoke to a very nice gentleman at the uh, rental trailer anyone can rent these you get an umbrella two chairs and a table $65 a day and I'm sure there's taxes and stuff in there so that's your decision they uh, 
They look inviting though. This is always everyone's favorite sign. Beach parking permit required, $500 fine. You don't need a permit to drive on the beach. You need a permit to park on the beach, camp, enjoy the day. It's uh, 12 bucks a year. Just stop at any Stripes convenience store and uh, you can pick one up. And uh, what else? There's also other places on the island you can get them. But uh, I always just get them at Stripes because they got beer and ice. Now about uh, 11.45 a.m. The uh, beach is filling up as you can see. And it's just going to get more busy as we go south down the uh, beach. I did want to show you that the beach driving conditions are just about as good as I've ever seen them. They got everything uh, smooth. I don't see any water on the beach yet. And uh, you would have, you'd have to do some work to get stuck in this sand. I'm not saying a couple people won't get, it, get the job done today, but uh, I've got no problems with it. One thing I really do genuinely like about the beach is seeing all the different flags people fly. And the birds. <laughs> I just think that's really cool. Bass music. There's something I don't like about the beach. And uh, right on the beach at uh, several of the entrances, there's a uh, bronze. They uh, have a trailer set up and they'll uh, do beach rentals for you. They got some chill dudes working here. Uh, you can get some lounge chairs, a table, an umbrella. They even have a little sign that says rent me in case you forgot why you came. Uh, they've been around for a long time and uh, highly recommended. Some people brought some uh, umbrellas and chairs and some people called the pros in. <laughs> Reserved four. That is quite the setup. That one on the left is more my speed. <laughs> I know, I know. I get a little too excited by kites. But aren't they cool? It's uh, getting pretty crowded, guys. It's around 1 in the afternoon. And remember, uh, this is on a weekday. So you might want to get here a little earlier than this, but there's still spots you can back your car into. Uh, people understand that uh, they're going to be side by side when it gets real busy. It gives you a chance to pick your neighbors instead of you being out in the open and have someone park next to you that uh, you're not going to get along with the rest of the day. Hard to believe, but it happens. <laughs> Port Aransas is awesome, guys. I highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's getting up close to 90, but it's comfortable. You can see by the flags and everything. There's a good breeze going. Your feet are in the sand. The water's right there. I uh, talked to a couple people about jellyfish, and they said not too bad. They have spotted them, but uh, I haven't met anyone that's gotten stung today or whose kids uh, got stung today. There's the police flag. It's good to see. What is that? A mermaid flag. I saw, and I haven't seen the guy since to film it, but driving by me, someone had a SpongeBob flag. There's a Gonzalez flag. Come and take it. Uh, and that just made me think of Boondock Charlie. Ooh, a dog. They got a dog. Yeah, beautiful day. They have a little shade tent, pretty sweet. Yep, it's filling up pretty good. Flags and beaches. That's a pretty good combination. It's going to be a good day in Port Aransas. I had another good day at the beach. Uh, minimum jellyfish. I saw jellyfish guys 
and uh, I didn't get stung. Um, I know it's been reported on some of the Facebook pages. People have gotten stung, and there's always a chance of that. It's the equivalent of a bee sting for the most part. So uh, I highly recommend Port Aransas. The beaches are awesome. Very good hotels. Uh, awesome restaurants. Places to shop. It's like a hidden little gem. And uh, this this is not what you think of when you think of Texas, you know? This wasn't in any of the John Wayne movies. <laughs> but I appreciate you all watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button for the video. Thanks for watching, everyone.